Hey, good morning. Welcome to a GoPro vlog. This is on my GoPro 7 instead of my M50 today. Um, just because I have the camera readily available. So just figured I'd make it. So how's it going? I'm going to Home Depot right now to pick up some junk for the house. We have stuff that's breaking like crazy. It's annoying. We have been living in a new builder house, but uh, it seems like the builders used crappy stuff all of our light bulbs are burning out and their fluorescence and stuff like that. It's crazy. So, anyways, I'm gonna go and get some Home Depot junk really quick. And then I'm gonna get back to work. I had a call this morning, went great. Things going pretty good right now. Except, uh, my son broke his leg. Or broke his ankle. Okay, so I just finished buying this stuff and it was really interesting. So I went in and I tried to buy a replacement. I don't remember what this was called. This piece broke on my uh, faucet in the kitchen and it was super frustrating because they don't have it, anything that was easy to find inside the store. And I know Home Depot pretty well because I used to work in construction. But what was interesting was I went to the department person who was sitting down. I said, hey, do you guys sell these? And he said, um, no, we don't sell these. Uh, you should just buy a new faucet. The faucet's like 500 bucks to replace the faucet, so I wasn't going to do that. So I went and I looked and I found that they did have versions of this that didn't work. And so I found out what the name was called, and then I went on Amazon and I found it for $11 on Amazon. Same day delivery. And so I just thought it was super interesting. I think that, like, the utility of stores and retail stores is like this. I need this right now. I want to get it right now. So, like, you should... If you have a retail store, you should absolutely get this. And I think too, like the items that are super difficult to find. So for example, I think this is a really good marketing lesson. Like this, for example, is a 21 inch, 13 watt T5 light bulb. And there, that, the only way that I knew that was I went through and I actually matched it in the light bulb section, right? So I found this, it's a 13, in, 13 watt, 21 inch T5. And there would be no way for me to know that other than if I went and actually matched them. And so if Philips or whoever wanted to easily sell these for reorders, what if they just printed a URL on this that's branded for the specific item? That's a great marketing tool. They're already printing. How much extra would it cost to put philips.com forward slash T5? Um, and then you could go and reorder them. And if they had quick delivery, if they maybe did fulfillment by Amazon and they had that so that it went directly to and was fulfilled same day delivery on Amazon, that would be amazing. Why aren't these companies doing that? That's a free, simple way to get tons of reorders, sell direct to consumer and places like Home Depot be out of business or something. So anyways, just a few thoughts on marketing from a retail brick and mortar perspective. Totally, totally dropping the ball on it and lose an opportunity. It's no wonder that Amazon's taking over the whole world. So just, just a thought there. Hey buddy. All right, I'm all done with work for today. Although I always have more work to do, but I'm just quitting for now. How's your day going, brother? He's got, he's got an ice cream scoop. Dangerous with it. So Ben broke his leg the other day. He's got a little casty down there. Um, he's doing good though. He was standing with his cast on. It's a soft cast. It's not a hard cast. So that's cool. We're gonna go for a little walk here. The girls are making cookies right now, which is fun. They're baking, making dinner and stuff, which is cool. Um, so, anyways, tomorrow I have like 12 appointments with potential clients. Like it is ridiculous. Plus update um one of my new marketing partners is bringing on 15 new clients as well which i'm going to be managing so that's kind of crazy uh it's like 27 potential client meetings this week that's gnarly i'm super glad i've been getting all my systems up and ready to go and uh i'm excited about it i was 
a little bit stressed because I had lost my you know big client. I was not that stressed though because I knew I had a lot of stuff in the you know irons in the fire and stuff. So um, that's pretty cool. I sent Cody Wayner a, a message on Twitter today and he responded to it. So that's really cool. And um, just cool stuff in general. So excited for tomorrow. I'm excited to see what happens on that message I sent to Cody Wayner. Uh, we'll see. So cool stuff going on. Cool stuff going down. Just a lot of positive stuff in general. My boy's doing good. My girls are doing good. My wife's doing good. Everybody's doing good. So you can't ask for much more than that. So anyways, we're going to go. I'm going to enjoy my walk with my boy and uh, see you tomorrow. Say bye, Ben. Say bye-bye. Thanks for the ice cream. Thanks. All right. See ya.